I'm Mac. Hey guys, this is Elmo Mac from ElmoMac.wordpress.com, and I'm gonna be doing a video on the Diamond GZV 4000 power supply. So, as you can see, it says Diamond right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And you can probably hear it go So, AC line, that's good. We don't want the red light to come on. But I'll shut it off and I'll show you. The red light does come on. So, yeah. And we have our meter. And our switch, we can switch between volts and amps. So this is how many we're putting out right now. Uh, how many uh, volts we're putting out and we can change our dial to how many we want to put out and there's a notch in the middle so that's why I keep it because it is powering my uh, striker 490 right here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on let me turn it on a different channel so hopefully it's not as noisy Okay, I'll turn that down. It's not really uh, quiet either. So there's my Striker 490 here. Um, very nice radio. I love it. Watch my video on it if you don't know what it is. Um, so it does not take much to power this little thing. Um, let's see how many... Uh, amps it takes up when I key key the mic here. Let me go on a different channel so I don't bleed them. This is in uh, amps right now. So about four, four to five amps. Probably four to five amps. That's how much it's drawing. So, that's not bad. As I said, you probably can't plug it into a cigarette lighter of a car. Um, but, you know, as you can see, I'm going to turn this dial down right here. If I turn it down, the lights will get dimmer on it. That's because it's not getting enough power to it. So I'm going to turn it up. And the channel lights even went off because it's not enough power. But the corner's on. So, yeah, as you can see, it draws a little bit of power, but not much. So, I just wanted to do a video on that. And we also, it is 40 amps continuous. Uh, it has a cigarette lighter plug-in on it. And it has a negative and positive front plug-in. Um, it's a 15 volt. And then 40 amps continuous. So 15 volt continuous, 40 amp continu continuous. I actually have my amp hooked up to this too. And there is the plugs. If I can uh, see. If I get my camera back here for you to look at it. Actually, sorry, you're going to hear a click probably. I can't really see it. So. There's the... There's the positive, uh, oh, there's a speaker input, or, because there's a speaker on the front right there. Um, so there's a speaker input, but there's, I have two on the positive and two on the negative. That's about it. All there is is a fan. And it's not very noisy, but I'll let you listen to it. So you can definitely hear it. Most of my videos, I have it on. And you can hear it through my uh, eyesight camera. So, this has been a review on the Diamond GZ V4000. This cost in a CB Max. Hey guys, um, I found the price on the internet actually. It's $199.95. So, it's $200 and that's on the internet. So, it's probably a little more. Sorry. 
that's my phone. Sorry. Um, it's probably a little more in a magazine because I was looking in the um, Ham Radio Outlet magazine and the the AES catalog. So it is a little more in there probably because I saw it before I know I did and I thought it was more than that but um there it is the online price that's all I can find so I can't really prove any other any other thing so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, <clears throat> we'll catch you later I'm all mad.